Hi y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already existing, then hello, welcome back. So I did order a cheap alternative for Christmas party outfits online. Now I'm not slating the company at all because I think they're really lovely for daytime dresses. I just found the materials that I got delivered for, I don't know why I've even started like this, but today was meant to be a boohoo try on haul for party wear for Christmas. Now I have ordered loads of boohoo dresses in the past, some party, some daytime wear, but when I've ordered the nighttime wear this time, I find it's very sheer material, it's very clingy, quite stress, stretchy and elastic -y. So the things that come, I just weren't prepared to show you because I know sometimes things look better on the camera than what they do when you get them. And I wouldn't want to put something on, it look half decent, and then you buy it and it's no good. So I want you to be able to get nice quality. And the thing is, if you're going to go to a Christmas party and you're feeling self-conscious as it is, you don't need to be turning up in something that makes you feel even more self-conscious. We're leaving it quite last minute till the Christmas party season. So I've decided to go for a different kind of cheap alternative and that is Tesco's. So I'm doing a Tesco's trial because it's a supermarket. I know not everything's extremely cheap, but it is kind of nice because you can go do your grocery shopping, order a little something. They're always really nice quality materials and there's a few beautiful pieces in there at the moment that I'm gonna show you. But not to worry, I do have two Boohoo dresses that are absolutely beautiful. They're still stocked online in all different colors and they will be in my next Friday. Next Friday, I'm not gonna be buying no new stuff. It will literally be everything you can get in the shop still at the moment but it's going to be all of my outfits that I'm going to be wearing over Christmas. So there's going to be at least about 10 outfits that I'm wearing. I'll tell you what day, like Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, we're going to go to a party. And I'm going to try on all them outfits so you can see. And let me know if some of them aren't that great so I can change my mind beforehand. So today is a Tesco's try on haul. Sorry I'm jibber jabbering, but now we can get into the video. I'm wearing my vest and my cycling shorts. Well, they're sucking knickers, they're my specs. To hold me in and I'm ready to go, just so I'm not exposed. And yeah, let's get into the video. So, I've got some really nice bits actually. Oh, and you have to excuse me, I got caught in the rain this morning to go and see my daughter's nativity. <laughs> so, it was just carnage. My hair was just really bad. I didn't get to see my hairdresser this morning, so I'm a little scruffy bumpkin today. So the first thing I bought in um, Tesco's was this. Now I thought this was really beautiful because I'm noticing on some of the dresses that I'm picking up from the other shops, the smock dresses are really going down well with you guys at home. It seems to be a shape that you all like because if you're like conscious of your belly or your arms and it just covers you up, but it's also like a really nice sort of swingy style. So the first dress that I got, I got this in a size 16 and I, this was 32 pound. Now 32 pound for a dress does sound dearer when you can go to places like Primark or alternative places that are cheaper, but 32 pound for your Christmas party dress, that's kind of a little bargain. And to be honest, it's something where it's good quality where you can wear this other than just one party. So this is a, like a black material and it's got red polka dots on it. But what I love about this is, is I love that it's sort of like, I love the shape of it, but the little hint of red gives it a little bit of Christmas pizzazz so you can wear with like red lipstick. I'll try this on. What draw, drew me to this was the polka dots. I won't lie, like I love red and I love things that are polka dot. Now the slip, the underneath, oh, I slim of a bit. <laughs> That was really slivery when I said that. Let me pull that vest down because the vest is kind of like hiring up the V. Um, but I really like this. And the reason I picked this up is because I thought, do you know what? This is really pretty and this would look so lovely even with some black tights and some like little, you know the trendy like black ankle boots that you can get now? This would look really cute with that. And I love the little, like the sleeves that you can get with this. Now you could also wear this with like a party belt, like something a little bit more glittery, not necessarily something plain. I do have a black belt, I've told you this, I don't know where my black belt is, I have a tan belt, but it would look really nice if you sort of belted this in, if you're like a pear shape or an hourglass, to bring this in nicely, it would look really, really pretty. But I do think if you want to cover up your belly or maternity and things like that, it's a lovely, lovely smock style. The V is a nice V, it's not too deep, it's a nice V. And the thing is as well, sometimes my bras are like boring mum bras and sometimes 
you don't want to have to buy a special bra when you're going out. So sometimes these nice Vs, you can't see your bra at all. Even if you've had a little cock, a few cocktails and you, you sh the shoulder strap slips, because this is all kind of like nicely structured around here and a higher V, it sort of keeps it together. You can't look messy. And then your granny bras that I wear, they just can't be like on show at all. It does have like a pussy bow at the front here. But I say this in all my videos, I probably bore you all because I buy very samey stuff. But I don't want to do that because I feel like it just makes me look much larger than I am. And it sort of cuts me off. But I think by opening that, it really shows your decolletage, makes you look more smaller. So I'm going to stand on the stool. And this is the kind of length. Now, what I like about this is it's coming up a little bit longer than what you'd get in some of the other shops. So a lot of the smock dresses I've been buying are coming above the knee lots here. But the fact that it's a little bit longer, I really, really like that. The slip is coming to roughly about the... Oh, actually, the slip comes down. Yeah, so the slip's about the same length. And I really like the shape of this. And I think you could even go really crazy and have, like, really bright gold or silvery, like, sand or high heels. Really jazz this up or with some jewellery. But I really love this. And I love the pattern. And it's like a crinkled, sort of folded material it's this kind of material that once you wash it you have to hang it out and it isn't an ironable like ironable i don't know where i'm coming with that but it's pleated so if you can see the pattern it's pleated like that but i really like i really like this and i think for 32 pound this is really really nice i don't even know if i've got my belt up here i keep going to the different wardrobes and different places to try and get something and i don't even know if my belt is in the drawer yeah, my belt is in the drawer. It's the tan belt again, guys. It's the tan belt again. But <laughs> we're not doing it to wear with a tan belt. We're just doing it to show what it would look like with a nice belt on it. To be honest, in Tesco's at the moment, they've got this lovely black belt. And it's like crocodile effect. And it's got like a gold buckle on it. So it would look really, really nice and Christmassy as well with the gold. But these kind of like, it just brings it in nicer. It makes the balloon sleeve look really pretty. And you can wear this more casual as well. You don't have to have this as a party dress. This is kind of like a nice daytime thing as well. But I really, really like this. So I thought this was well worth it. I really like this one, actually. Definitely with a belt, though. I need to invest in another black belt because I keep saying I can't find my black belt. But I've done nothing in the slightest to fill in the gap of my black belt. <laughs> so the next thing I picked up is obviously going to be shown in one of these videos. Every shop I'm going in, getting Christmas party stuff, I'm picking one of these up everywhere. These, I just think, so every shape. They're so in fashion, hence why I can get them in all of the shops. Bertie's, like, trying to climb the bed. I can get them in all the shops at the moment. They're really high fashion. But they're also something that's really classy and elegant that isn't going to go out of fashion, so you can keep these for years to come. So, obviously, without further ado, I got this lovely... I don't know if you can see it up close. It's like a gold and a silver glitter. And it's a pleated skirt. It's got the black elastic waistband. But what I love about this black elastic waistband is they've spent a little bit more money and the stitching that they've put in it is actually gold and silver glitter as well. So the light is just going to bounce it, bounce it off if you're in a nightclub or you're going out and it's somewhere dark. It's just going to look really pretty. It's going to bounce the light and not just look like a cheap bit of plastic. So what size did I get this in? I got this in a size 14 and this was £30. Roughly around about the same price as next, really. But I find you can get away with... Bertie, no, not that top. I feel like you can kind of get away with having a 14 if you carry your weight mostly on your hips because the pleats leave a little bit of room for error. So you can kind of, like, they pleat out, give you a bit more room. I like that because you can kind of see the silver and the gold. This is a lot longer than the other ones I've been picking up. The other ones have been midi. This is actually a maxi length. So it's coming down a really nice length. So with some nice little high heels, really lovely. So you probably could get away with, if you don't want to wear tights, because you want to have your legs out, you probably haven't got to tan them all up and you're not going to get really, really super cold because it's a nice long length. It's definitely got a swish in it, girls. Definitely got a big swish in it. Need to knock myself out on the stool. But this would look really nice like a long sleeve black top or one of them bodies that you can get, like what I got from H&M. It would look really beautiful. But what I picked up in <laughs> Tesco's, I keep saying going to say H&M now, is this. Now, I got this in a size 14 as well because it seems very oversized and I don't want it to be too massive. But this was a, this was £16 in a size 14. But I got this because I thought, I don't know if I'm pushing my luck with the sparkles here. 
but I've seen these on loads of girls and I really want to just try it to see if I can suit it as well. Now, like this, it just looks really old fashioned, not very like young at all. And I don't feel like it's kind of me. But what I want to do with this is it has like an open bit where you're not it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it over and actually twist it on the front and then tuck it. I did have ideas for this. I don't know if it's actually working. <laughs> and then perhaps wear like a nice little belt or something with this. Maybe bring the black down a little bit because it really gives something for you to like your eye goes to and the black makes it look more slimming but it's a nice V I'm gonna pull the vest down so you can see the V but it's a nice V and it kind of makes it into a really expensive like what you would get from monsoons kind of party dress look but it's in two pieces so therefore if you are bigger on top or bigger on bottom it's gonna be really nice because you can get the different sizes they do have these in like an oystery sort of colour and a black. I'm thinking the black probably would have looked a little bit nicer. I'm feeling like a little bit of something out of Dream Girls. But if you like your mid drift and you don't mind having your tummy on show, then another thing you can do is, is pop one of these through the top. We see, like twist it round and then pop it through the top. And then bring this up and tie it. And you can have more of a croppy or you could even have like a black vest up underneath this and so you still see the black and that looks kind of quirky as well so you could have your tummy on show if you're more of like you know you're not too conscious <laughs> but I really like this and I also think this top if you don't like your belly too much and you tie it kind of low you could wear this with some like black skinny jeans on a night out some nice gold high heel sandals if I come this far to the camera so it looks like I've got jeans on <laughs> instead of shorts you could wear this with like skinny black jeans or you could wear this with like leatherette trousers and this is just a really nice kimono -y shaped top really glittery you could even jazz it up with like something gold like a nice gold necklace little pair of black skinny jeans or like a black leather as I've already said black leather trousers or a black skirt and really make it look party fine if you don't want to go for full on dress and skirt look really nice top and for £16 I think that's a really good like sort of budgety price most people already have black trousers or black skinny jeans in their wardrobe or black leather trousers so you could get this for £16 team it up with some like little gold necklace or some accessories this is really really pretty to wear with some nice little high heels so I really like that as well and that's in a size 14 they are quite oversized I do apologise about the boohoo thing, but I just didn't want to show you. And because it's so cheap, I managed to get so many, so it's probably going to be one of the biggest item told that I've had in ages. But I really didn't want to just show it if it wasn't very nice quality. But one of my favourite actually going out dresses is boohoo. And I'll obviously show you that next week on Friday if you want to stick around to watch. Oh, I've got the worst cold at the moment. But I'm trying to pull through. <laughs> so this is another item for like trousers and top wearers i am really sorry i could buy trousers but i'm not a trouser wearer i.e i just wear black jeans and i'm not very prepared today i've been to see a nativity done a bit of christmas shopping so i'm all over the place i should have got some black jeans out ready but this top i also got in a size 14 didn't get this on purpose as a 14 i could have done with this in a 16 or maybe even an 18 because i'd like it oversized but that's the only one they had left and I really liked it. I wanted just to see it because I think it's really nice. Um, it's very similar to the style of the dress with like the plissy sort of pleats in it. But I got this in a size 14 and it's a 18 pound. So I got this and I just fell in love with this because this is going to be something that's probably going to be a bit tight on the arms if I'm honest because it's a 14. Because other things are actually oversized. But I wanted to show you this because I love this blouse. I think this is so pretty. Now it's a v-neck at the front and it's got like a little bubble sleeve at the side and you've got little tie bits that look really, really pretty. But what I love about this is it comes in really tight little pleats at the top and then gets looser pleats at the bottom, making it look like a kind of a peplum. So it comes, it makes it look like it comes in and then goes out more, even though it hasn't actually got a peplum. So if you do struggle with your belly area, you can kind of like get away with that style or that hat. I keep putting a H in front of every A. <laughs> it's because I can't. I'm so bummed up. I can't talk properly. 
But I thought with some skinny jeans and a little pair of high heels, this would look really lovely. I don't think you can beat a pretty black blouse because even in the summer you could wear this in sandals, you could wear this with like, I don't know, I'm not really a trouser wearer. I don't know if you could even tuck this maybe into a skirt to have this as the top half, but I thought this was really pretty and I thought of 18 pound as well. It's buttoned up, but it's got that casual button where it, oh, it hasn't got that casual button. Look at me, like, it's got that casual button at the bottom where it kind of stops kind of high, so you've got that floating material at the bottom. No, Rosie, you've just not done the button up. Typical. <laughs> but yet again, really smocky, and what I love about this, this is when I picked this up, I was like, that's definitely a keeper, is look at the length on the back. Now, I've got such a square bum. I haven't got that peachy, perky, like, rounded bum. My bum just looks like an oblongy kind of square. So, when I get a blouse that comes over a nice length on my bottom half, I love it because it makes my bum, it meets at the perky bit of my bum, which makes it look like I've got a perky bum, even though I actually don't, because my bum starts there and ends like here. So, it just covers that part up, covers the square. So, I really, really like this as well. But... Yet again, I thought for £18, that's really nice. And to be honest, if you've got like one of the black skirts that I've shown previously, I don't know if the gold would look nice, but you can always wear something like this. And how, oh actually, do you know what I'm going to try on? With a skirt. Because sometimes you can wear these sort of like flowy blouses with something like this. I think sometimes when they're a bit too flowy around the waist, they don't look as nice because they can bulk out. But if you kind of like pull them round and then tuck them in. It's kind of like really gracious and classy. So maybe if you're like not wanting to be too on show, but you're going to like a family party or somewhere and you want to look elegant, yet again, you can like try and accessorize this, accessorize this up. Looks really pretty, but really, really classy. One thing I really love is when you see like them white shirts, really smart white shirt, tucked in some beautiful long skirts. It's very um, Diane Keaton, but I really, really love it. So, I've got five items, but I try not to spend too much each time I go into the shops. Um, I get asked all the time, do you keep everything? No, I don't always keep everything. I would literally have no money ever if I kept everything. But I also try and set a budget when I do spend, because in case I do want to keep some of the things that I've got, if I spend a maximum, then I won't feel too bad if I do want to keep everything in that haul that time. So, I always set my budget. So I've been able to get five items today, which I don't think is bad. Is it five or four? Ah, uh, I've got four items today. Funny story, actually, I did pick up these leatherette trousers in there. They've got some lovely black skinny like leather trousers. And in my head, I think I'm going to look a certain way. But reality, I'm really not going to look like that in them. So I thought, you know what? Save the embarrassment. <laughs> Don't put them on. Because I will look like... Have you ever seen the Michelin Man, the Thai Man? They end up getting lines all around my legs. They just don't go on my legs very well. My legs just go like sponge trying to come out of a cheese grater. They're just like, oh, no, we can't deal with it. So I was going to pick up five items, but I actually picked up four. So I am super out of breath now. Because where I'm all got sinused up as well. So I'm going to be doing homemade gifts next week, not on the Friday, during the week, because I think it's kind of nice if you're last minute or you want to hand make stuff, stuff, I think that's really, really cute. So I'm going to make handmade gifts and then the following Friday, I'm also going to be doing a my outfits for over Christmas. I will be adding in a few other little Christmas um, videos as well, just because it's nice to put them out there. I'm not too sure what they are, but they're just going to be, as I go along Christmas videos, I don't do a vlogmas, really wouldn't have time with the three kids. But I'll be doing as many videos as I can. So I've got one coming up. And that's my homemade videos. Which will be at the beginning of next week. And then my Friday outfits. So I'm going to go. Because I've got to go and pick the kids up as well. And that is like biting my fingers. So take care. Have a fantastic weekend. I hope you really enjoy yourselves over the weekend. It's like the last Christmas. Like proper last weekend before Christmas. Because next weekend is just going to feel like Christmas anyway. So have a lovely, lovely weekend. Take care. Bye.